Hello, everybody. This is Dr. Kevin Connors again, and we're going to be talking on this video of juicing and blending basics. There's a lot of controversy. Should I be juicing? Should I be blending? Should I even be doing this at all? Well, in our basic um, pre knowing what your genetics are diet, I'm not opposed to you not doing either juicing or blending right now. And we'll explain a little bit why. But um, there's some things that you'll want to know in this. So as we go through this, I hope this will explain it. So we're juicing or blending. What should we do? The debate continues. Well, there's benefits of both. Juicers will extract the juice from the vegetables and they'll leave a dry pulp as a waste. Blending vegetables keeps the pulp. Now, the negative of blending vegetables with keeping the pulp, it makes it much more bitter. If you've ever drank juice from a juicer, it's pretty tasty because the pulp is gone. The fiber is gone. That's what makes the juice taste more bitter. And you mainly have sugar left. Well, that can be a negative. If you're going to do either of these, using carrots, celery, apple, and beetroot as a base if you're on a low-protein diet. But the problem is if we're, you're doing this and you don't know which diet you should be on yet, then you have to be more careful. Use greens and non-root vegetables if you're on a keto-like diet. If you don't know, we haven't got your genetics back yet, and you don't know what you should be on, you're probably safer using the greens and non-root vegetable, a ketogenic-like diet, than you are um, uh, using a lot of carrots, celery, and apple, and you're probably much safer blending versus juicing, and I'll explain why. So I typically tell people that they should blend versus juice until we get your genetics back, because if your um, cancer, based upon your genetics, is probably fed through the pathway of glycolysis, we have to eliminate um, all you know all carbs. We have to really strictly reduce your carbs. You're going to be going on a ketogenic-like diet. Well, you're juicing carrots, celery, apple, and beets. Holy cats, you're getting a lot of glucose feeding right down glycolysis, and you're going to build up a lot of lactic acid, which could be a fuel source of the cancer. Now, a Gershon-type juicing program can be really good for some people. Well, that's the argument. Well, so-and-so uh, did a Gershon program of juicing, and they healed their cancer. Well, that's great. They probably did not have defects, PDH defects, HIF defects, and different genetic defects that pointed towards the cancer feeding off of lactic acid. Other people did juicing and they did poorly because they should have been on a ketogenic diet. That's why we got to look at your genes. But here's the benefits of juicing. If your goal is to consume large quantities of juice, like on a Gershon diet where you're juicing 13 glasses, 12 glasses of juice a day, you have to juice. There's simply, it's impossible for you to drink 12 glasses of blended vegetables in a day, you'd explode. So that's what you have to do if you're trying to juice. So understand, why would a person juice or blend at all? The reason is, is that you're pre-digesting the food. So you are doing the work of there's no way that you could chew it up that well. So you're really taking a lot of pressure off of your gut. So there's benefits of getting this raw food juice or blending is a raw food because it's not being cooked. Uh, but the problem with raw food is it's difficult to digest. So if you're pre-digesting it by juicing it or blending it, it's saving that pressure on your uh, stomach and your pancreatic enzymes. So it's going into the intestines pre-digested and it's going to be more readily absorbed and you're going to get much greater nutritional value from your food. So there's, I am huge on juicing and blending. It's very beneficial. But we have to know what your genetics are before we get too deep into it. There's negatives of juicing. We already spoke of that. Juicing expels the pulp. 
Well, that's what makes it taste good because you don't have that pulp. Well, it's easier to drink a lot of juice, but the problem is you're going to be consuming a whole lot of glucose with that juice because vegetables have glucose too. You, every gram of sugar offsets is offset by a gram of fiber. So if you're taking all the fiber out, you just have all those grams of glucose. So you're really getting a high gram of glucose per day, and that's not always good, okay? The benefits of blending. Well, the benefits of blending are I prefer it because that fiber is very beneficial for your digestion. If it's a more difficult to digest fiber, it becomes a prebiotic. So if you watch the gut check video, we want more prebiotics because that's what helps your body, your gut, make butyrate in order to heal itself, in order to hold a microbiota, your flora, so that your body can heal from the inside out. I typically suggest a Nutribullet or a Vitamix or um, we used to have a Nutribullet. We had a Vitamix for years. Now we have one of those Ninja blenders ourselves. And blending, the other thing about juicing versus blending, people buy a juicer with these great intentions. I'm going to start juicing and my life is going to be changed. And about two weeks into it, they want to hit it with the baseball bat because it's a pain in the tail to clean. Now, if you're just really, really good at that kind of stuff, and you might say that, I've been juicing for five years every day. Well, that's great. I personally don't even have time to juice. I can't even think about that. So blending is very easy. You just rinse the blades off and you throw the cup into the uh, dishwasher or rinse it out and it makes it really easy to clean up. So you also have to be a little more of a realist too. Remember, one of my premises of our entire program is that if you're spending your entire life um, all the hours of your day trying to be healthy, then why are you trying to be healthy for if that's all you have time for is trying to be healthy? So we want to make sure that we're not making an idol out of trying to be healthy and wasting all our time in doing so. The benefit of blending fits into that because it's really easy and it's really quick. So I am uh, fall into the, the realm that blending is better especially when we don't know if your, your, your genetics point to the possibility of, of your cancer being fed through glycolysis and, and, and uh, lactic acid. And certainly if you juice, it would just be a fuel line for the cancer. So before we know that, you're much better blending. When we do know, even know that, you could be much better blending too. So you're safer probably starting blending for sure. I hope that covers it and that clears it up for you and there are some benefits to these videos uh, and that you're blessed by them. All right, bye-bye.